Budnick Lake. This is a special lake to me. I've fished here on and off for the last five years. And over those last five years, a lot has happened here. Oh, 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 he's huge, he's huge, what? He's huge. Kayak fishing for largemouth and smallmouth bass. Dang, they fight good on the freaking fly rod. Fly fishing for crappies. Look at that crappie on the fly. Camping on the shores of the lake. And we're just gonna relax for the rest of the night and then tomorrow we're gonna spend a lot of time out on that lake trying to catch some fish. To ice fishing for just about anything that lurks in this system. Nice crappie. Oh my God, dude. What the fuck? PB bluegill. Let's get him in the water. I have a lot of memories on this body of water with a lot of good friends. Pike. Oh, was wow. that a good one? You think that's the biggest one of the day? That's a big fish. Yes, Doyle. That's a fat pike, man. This is Spudnik Lake, and it's a special lake for me. What a day this is going to be. Got him. Beautiful fish. That's a big walleye. Awesome, awesome colors on this guy. On this weekend adventure, I'm headed to Spudnik Lake on a multi-species ice fishing trip. I decided I would pop a few holes and set up a bit deeper than where the guys were fishing. Finally here to do some fishing on one of my favorite lakes in the Landark Highlands. This is called uh, Spudnik Lake and absolutely one of my favorite spots. I haven't, I didn't fish here a ton in the last few years, but I've had some really, really awesome times out here on the ice. We got Tyler here, we got Doyle here, we got Johnny here, and uh, we're going to see what's happening. We're going to see if we can get on some crappy bluegill pike. It's going to be fun. So I'm just putting my deeper fish finder in right now. Going to check the depth out here. They've been fishing here probably five hours already, maybe longer, but they've covered a lot of water towards this point that I said we should fish off of, and I've worked my way out deeper. I'm, I'm at the deepest point that anyone has been yet, so we're gonna see if this makes a difference. It's been a bit slow, but we're gonna see what happens. So today, instead of running like a traditional insulated tip up or just a standard tip up, I got the iFish Pro and a rod here set up for it, so I'm gonna get this set up for pike see what happens and that's the rod there so I got uh, I got probably 15 pound braid on there a medium action rod with a nice fast tip and uh, this is pretty much how you rig the iFish Pro I'll come over and show you so for the iFish Pro you got to have this red thing on that hooks onto the uh, the flag so that when a fish takes this gets pulled when the line gets pulled flag pops up I got to wait there to get the uh, single trouble down I got a leader uh, probably 50 pound fluoro to a single trouble hook and uh, then you need a bead you have to put a bobber stop on your line and you need the bead or this will just the bobber stop will go right through that so you gotta have that little bead on there and uh, that's pretty much it so let's get this in the water and hopefully we get a pike alrighty so I got my big shiner on there on the trouble hook and I'll show you how to set this thing up. Pop up the flag. And flip the, the leg. I got my deeper fish finder under there so I can mark where the bait is. And the beauty of an iFish Pro is once it's down there, like you set your bobber stop and you don't have to worry about it. Like it's always going to be where it needs to be. It's just perfect. And that's the bobber stop. So the last time I used this, I wasn't fishing very deep. 
Gotta drop her down. And I just pull out the line. I can see my weight. I got two lines on the graph. So I can see my weight and my minnow. And now that I'm getting close, I'm gonna throw her in the rod holder. Just sits right back there. And then all you're gonna do, flip down that flag, take this piece here, this little red piece. And once the flag is flipped down, then you put the red piece through the hook. And there you go. That's how you set a knife fish pro. On this part of the setup, there's three notches under there. The first one, obviously, a small fish eats that. It's going to pop it. Second one, medium fish. And as you can see, I got on the furthest end. That's going to be for pike, musky, whatever you're targeting that's big. You're going to want it on that far end. And again, now that this is rigged up, if I have this go off, I, I catch a fish, whatever it may be, it's always going to stay at the proper depth. I'm not going to have to reset this every time I want to use it. It's ready to rock. I'm done. What is that? What is that? I didn't mark it and it got off. I didn't even mark that fish. What was that? Take line. Here we go, folks. I can see it's off to the side. I'll wait till I feel the fish and I'll set it. There he is. Fish on. Let's go. Feels big. Feels big. Feels big, man. Can you see the leader? Oh. Come on. Get him to the get him to the net. Nice pike. Nice pike. Nice pike, man. Nice pike. That's gotta be a like a at least a 30-inch fish. That's a nice pike, dude. That's a solid freaking pike, man. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Dude, there's a big pike, man. Big pike, dude. Not that big. Sick, man. That was cool. On the iFish Pro, it's a great way to catch fish. You get the rod, so you get the whole experience. Oh, and he smoked it. That fish certainly was not getting off. There we go. Hooks out, in a quick dip, and we'll take a look. Nice fish, man. That's gotta be, I don't know, 25 to 28 inches. Beauty. Slip her back down. Beautiful northern, man. She gone. She gone, guys. Good boy. Okay. Yeah, I know. Like, look at that shit. He's like, oh, what's this? New minnow. New minnow life. What the heck? It almost looked like he grabbed it there. And then dropped it. Look, now my minnow's gone. Dude, he's, he's got to have it. The minnow and the, the... Everything's gone. Dude. Go! You got it? Yeah. Come on, man. Come on, man. Okay. Give him a bit of line to play with. Close it up. Look, he's taking it still. Let's go, Ryan. Get him. I feel him. Should I set it? Yeah. Don't, don't hesitate. That's Ryan. There we go. Let's go. Dude. The fight is on. He feels big. 
I love fighting them on the rod doyle. Oh, what the heck was that? Caught on the ice, maybe. I haven't even seen the leader yet. Dog's on duty. We've got nine percent of battery left to catch. Here he comes. Nice little pike. There you go. We'll take that. And he's hooked right in the side of the face. Perfect hook set. There we go. Can we hook dip? Oh, look at that. That's my second fish of the day. It's been slow for me, but hopefully this means the bite's gonna pick up. A little northern, it's got him back in the hole. Look at Maggie, eh? Down. I fish pro. I fish pro. I fish pro, man. Got him. Feels like a largey. Coming in super easy. Oh, what do we got? It's not fighting super hard. A little northern, tiny. Guys, watch out, move it, move it, move it, move it, move it. Long Northern Pike, folks. Not very big, still fun. Fishing with tip-ups is a lot of fun and it's a great way to maximize having two lines in the water. It's a large mouth. Oh, God right. dang it. Incidental catch, we're going for pike. Got a large mouth instead. That was crazy. I've never had anything like that happen. Doyle absolutely put the smack down on some Northern Pike while fishing with tip-ups. What do you feel like, Doyle? I don't know. Feels like a large mouth. <laughs> I hope it's not, though. Oh. He will be posting a very detailed video on tip-up fishing, so you'll have to head over to his channel if you want to learn more. Oh, there we go. Oh. Not bad. Yes, go. There we go. First pike on the tip-up today. Oh. Oh. What was it? It's a pike, but he's really small. I just lost all my freaking line that I pulled in. Oh. Nice little pike. It's been about an hour since we caught anything. So it's good to know that the fish are still here. Yeah, we'll just let them go real quick. Day two of this weekend adventure, we will be focusing on crappie and bluegill. So make sure you tune in next week to see that video. I want to thank you all for watching and if you enjoyed this video hit the like button and leave a comment below telling me what you liked about the video and if you aren't subscribed to the channel make sure to subscribe because we're dropping videos every sunday thank you all for watching and we'll catch you in the next one